Welcome to this tutorial on how to move items around on your elbowspace.com form. This time I want to explain how to move items horizontally and create a new column. First, before you can do that, you must have top to bottom label alignment. Right now, as you can see, the labels are to the left of the field. So we can change that by clicking the line format button then where it says label field alignment we want to go top to bottom click update and as you can see the labels are now aligned top to bottom let's start by moving work phone number over to the right of home phone number by putting the mouse over the label you see it's now highlighted in blue that means the item is now draggable so let's drag it up over to the right and just beneath home phone number when I do this it asks me do I want to place it to the right or do I want to place it underneath Of course I want to place this one to the right I want to do the same for cell phone I'm going to drag it over to the right of work phone I get the same prompt and I want to place it to the right now as you, you can see all three items are in the same row. Let's scroll down a little bit and do some more. Okay, let's say this, now I want to move middle initial to the right of first name. Same thing. Last name to the right of middle initial. Okay, let's say I also want to move address line two next to address. state next to city zip code next to state okay uh, let's say also let's say uh, let's move ethnic origin next to social security number to the right okay now let's say I want marital status next to social security number I can just drag it next to social security number course I won't be prompted here because it can only go to the right since it's in between two items and there it is okay one other thing I want to show you is an option called grid lines it kind of makes the format a little better so let's start with address line here click any line in the row and then the dialog box would, would appear and then click the edit button and as you see at the, toward the bottom right you'll see a grid line checkbox click it click apply and as you can see we are now we now have grid lines let's do the same for the first row edit button grid lines apply same thing for city state and zip again you can click any any field in the row grid lines and the same for this last row grid lines is toward the bottom on this selection box apply okay so this is what we have so far so after making any changes you want to save changes have a successful save also after any changes I want to make sure the live form looks like I want it to look so you click on preview form and there it is these are the changes we made this concludes this section we have many more videos to come thanks for listening